What's up guys, hope everyone is doing great. I want to talk to you guys about Kawaki's character so far and the direction it's going and get your opinions on his character. In the beginning of Kawaki's arc, I was not really a big fan of Kawaki as a character because I felt that his story is a familiar one in anime and I think it was a safe bet for the writers to fall for. What I mean by that is to have a character that's from a difficult background who goes from zero to hero is a classic hero's journey but we've seen that already with Naruto and what made Naruto unique was that he was the main character whereas Kawaki is the secondary character to Boruto some may even argue he would be a better protagonist than Boruto but that's more of an issue the manga and anime have of not developing Boruto as a character earlier on about his goals since being a shadow hokage is a bit vague for a goal and after 250 episodes and 70 chapters I can't even say what Boruto's definitive goals are really but since Kawaki's arc and living with the Uzumaki's Kawaki's character has grown and matured a lot and out of all the next gen characters Kawaki I believe is the best written character and has the most depth he's the most he he is the emotional heartstring of the story, having the ability to pull the story in his direction. Even when he came back from the Ishiki fight and was dealing with the loss of karma, we managed to get an understanding of what was going through his mind and his feeling about living in the Hidden Leaf and whether he belongs there or not. There are shades of Sasuke when it comes to Kawaki, but I think it's because Kishimoto is following a method that works for him, similar to part 1 Naruto, with Sasuke being the focal point and pushing the plot and in Shippuden the story being expanded and we get a chance to learn more about Naruto's backstory and him being a part of Jiraiya's prophecy and bringing a great change to the shinobi world. I think Boruto and Kawaki are, are following a similar story as much as I would love to say Boruto should be the one pushing the plot and Boruto being the one to leave the village because he feels it would be safer for everyone involved and also because he doesn't trust his karma powers I see Kawaki being the one who leaves and joins Ada and Damon with Ada revealing her true intentions to Kawaki and Boruto either going to train or going after Kawaki I know it's cliche and feels like we've seen this before but what if this was the aim all along and that all the fan theories about Jogan and new powers for everyone is just us being fans and the story itself is just a Naruto 2.0 but with a new cast and a story that kids can enjoy with their parents. I think a huge factor with Boruto is it's a monthly series and the pacing has been an issue but overall it's written well and when you get a chance to reread some chapters you can see the flow and the detail that Kishimoto and Kodachi was trying to show and a good example for, for that would be the code arc. And having reread it, I can see how the focus was on Kawaki and getting him to acknowledge that he needs and wants karma, which we all know he eventually does. And at the moment, the ball is in his court, with Amado, Ada, Code, Naruto playing a big role in Kawaki's story. I'm sure after we reach time skip, the story will balance itself out with Sarada and Mitsuki taking on a big role. It's almost like how in Shippuden. Naruto and Team 7 with Sai were going on missions and had their side stories with Akatsuki and Sasuke on the other side having Team Heavy or, or Taka and going on their little missions and side stories with Itachi and Danzo before eventually the, the story coming together with both Naruto and Sasuke joining in the Fort Shinobi War. I think Ishimoto will follow that similar plan with Boruto and Sarada, Mitsuki and, their, and them having their side missions and stories and Kawaki, Ada and Damon and whoever else having their side missions and stories before eventually Boruto and Kawaki coming together to face a collective enemy whether that's an Amado or an Azutuki king or anyone else for that matter before coming to a conclusion. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. What are your thoughts on Kawaki's character? Do you think that he's similar to Naruto or, or Sasuke? Or maybe you see something else entirely different? Please share your thoughts and opinions. Leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day.